weekend box office results are in. And it looks like the Adam Sandler-led animated sequel, Hotel Transylvania 2, has broken records by becoming the highest September debut with $47.5 million to easily take first place this weekend. In second place with $18.2 million was another movie that debuted this weekend, The Intern, starring Anne Hathaway and Robert De Niro. Last week's number one film, Maze Runner, The Scorch Trials, came in at number three with $14 million. In fourth place was Everest with $13 million, which expanded to over 3,000 screens this past weekend. And rounding out the top five was Black Mass, starring Johnny Depp, which made $11.5 million in its second week. Dennis, what stands out to you from this week's results? Well, of course it has to be Hotel Transylvania 2 because it, it like easily won. It broke, I guess, September records. And also it says that, I guess, while Adam Sandler's live action movie career isn't doing so hot, his animated movie career is doing just fine. Uh, I, I, I've seen four out I, I watched four movies this weekend none of them were hotel transylvania i saw <laughs> sicario i watched uh, black mass the intern and everest so now i guess i have to go see hotel transylvania everybody too. else is doing it uh, yeah. apparently uh mark what do you think yeah i mean uh, the hotel t2 is obviously impressive uh i like the movie i saw it i uh, wasn't that familiar with the first hotel transylvania but you know the franchise animated element you, it makes sense it's september maybe there's not a lot of other things for kids to go see right now the intern is impressive as well everest i thought might do a little bit better than it did it only made 13 million dollars which isn't horrible but it was so uh, impressive on IMAX last week when it was only in IMAX formats and it still made the top five that I thought maybe it'd have a bigger bump up around the 20 million mark. It didn't. Sicario is another one to look out for. The way that Everest was released was just IMAX. Sicario was very limited release last week, a little bit more theaters this week, and it did very well. It made like 1.6 million. So when that comes into its full expanded release this weekend, it's going up against The Martian and The Walk. That's going to be a real competitive weekend. Schnepp. Yeah, I'm really glad about The Intern. I mean, I haven't seen it yet, but all of the trailers really felt like, wow, this is going to be a fun film. And I think that communicated to the audiences and everybody went out to see it. They were like, I want to see Robert De Niro, you know, doing a role that he's really good, like feels good. It's going to be a good comedy. So mm -hmm. Where he's and, trying. Yeah, yes. where he's trying. I think everyone. <laughs> he's not just. <laughs> yeah, in his way you get, yeah, you get it. You get that feeling that he's not. Hang <laughs> it. Yeah, I agree with you. Um, uh, on Friday, uh, me, Christian, and David Griffin made our predictions, and none of us got it. Sinead got the, the top three. Um, David actually got the closest and the furthest at the same time. So he got four out of the five. However, his second p uh, pick for second place was Green Inferno, which was nowhere near that at all. Uh, did you guys... I didn't even know it came out. Did it come out? Yeah, it came out. Oh. It came out in, a, I think, around 1,500 screens, okay. and they did a really interesting marketing campaign with it where they were they were really targeting demographics that historically do well with horror movies and like like markets and areas that people have a lot of horror fans there. So I actually saw most of the movie this weekend in Atlanta at the Phipps Center, but I couldn't stay for the whole thing. So I had to go get ready for the show. So there weren't a lot of people in my theater, but it made like $3.5 million, mm -hmm. so on a... You know, you know, the fact that this movie's released at all is good for Eli Roth because they had some distribution problems with it, but I'm not sure it'll do much better than that. Mm. But speaking of horror movies, too, The Visit, also, I think it cracks $50 million, yeah. and that's just a budget of five mils, so that's pretty good. Wow. M. Knight's back. He's, He's back, back, baby. Jam hammer. 